Almost every top player that gets notable results sits behind a top tier character. While the concept of tiers defines top tiers as being the best, characters in the other tiers are certainly not without strong attributes. So what really makes a character a top tier? To understand Smash better in general, you should check out all the useful resources on ProGuys.com. We've got tier lists, coaches, and pro courses with top tier players like MKLeo and Eason. Now, the first thing to understand about top tier criteria is that although there are multiple important attributes that make a character better, which we'll cover in this video, it's the combination of these attributes that make a character top tier. Every top tier character has two or more amazing strengths, whereas high tier characters and lower tiers will likely only excel in one aspect, or will be dragged down by weaknesses to compensate for their strengths. Let's talk about the attributes that make a character top tier. The first is combos. Combos allow a character to turn a single opening into lots of damage and momentum. To learn more about combos in general, check out our combo guide right here on the Pro Guys Smash YouTube channel. Low percent combos and kill confirms in particular are crucial and very common in top tiers. Many top tiers in Smash Ultimate have bread and butter combos that take the opponent from zero to around 40%. This can be seen as almost half of a stock, and at 40%, it starts becoming much easier to knock a character off stage or higher in the air, leading to more ledge trap and juggle situations. Kill confirms are a huge strength as well. Finding a raw KO from neutral can be very hard, and even with the opponent at ledge or off stage, good players will make it very tricky for you to land a big hit. With kill confirms, however, your opponent still has to avoid big hits, but also has to worry about the combo starters you have that can end stocks. A grab KO confirm is particularly scary, as your opponent won't be safe in shield. Similar to early percent combos is the next top tier attribute, damage output. Being able to deal tons of damage with each attack is beneficial regardless of whether the attacks are comboed together or not. Although combos will streamline the process, dealing big damage is perfect for any time the character doesn't have a combo available and gets the opponent to kill percent quickly. Speaking of kill percent, KO power is crucial as well. Racking up damage is great, but you need ways to close out the stock before your opponent can. Many top tiers have aerial attacks that are strong enough to take stocks, yet safe enough to pressure a shield with. In some cases, a character may even have smash attacks that are safe and also lead to early stocks. Kill throws are an amazing KO option that many top tiers have as well, allowing them to beat shields. Although some top tiers are better at KOing than others, every top character in Ultimate has reliable and consistent methods for closing out stocks at top levels of play.
Besides for big hits and kill confirms, another great way to close out stocks is edge guarding. Many top tier characters have amazing recoveries and deadly aerials that they can use to go far off stage and stop opponents from recovering. Edge guarding can be extremely potent as you can gimp characters regardless of their percent. And at the very least, you can build up more damage as your opponent tries to make their way back to the stage. If your opponent does make it back, they still have to get off the ledge. And this brings us to another strong attribute of top tiers, ledge trapping. Good characters often have big, reliable hitboxes to safely cover multiple ledge options, potentially even taking stocks from this position. Good ledge trapping allows a character to track on lots more damage and creates more edge guarding opportunities as well. Taking a step back, in order to get a combo started or put an opponent off stage, you first have to win neutral. Having a strong neutral is an extremely important factor that makes a top tier character. There are many aspects that contribute to what a good neutral is, and like the top tier attributes themselves, not all are required. But the more a character has, the better their neutral will be. Good movement is great for playing neutral effectively. By moving in and out with speed and control, you can avoid your opponent's plays and find the openings you want. Good frame data is vital for a top tier in general, but arguably matters the most in neutral. With fast startup and or low end lag, your character can punish things on reaction, cover options, and pressure safely. Pesky projectiles are also a great thing for a character's neutral. Being able to force your opponent to approach and navigate an obstacle course to do so will give you more openings and likely frustrate your opponents as well. Range and disjoints are another great neutral factor. Pressuring your opponent outside of their attack range lets your character play safer and avoid some options that otherwise keep you away from a character's shield. Last but not least, mix-ups are super important in neutral. Most characters have one main combo starter in neutral, but top tiers often have multiple solid ways to win neutral, even if they don't get as much reward. Having options that naturally cover each other's weaknesses is extra beneficial. We talked about a top tier's ability to play neutral and advantage state, but disadvantage is inevitably going to be played in any game of Smash. Many top tiers have fast or unique options that allow them to break combos, land, and recover in ways that are difficult to deal with. These get out of jail free cards are another reason why combos are so important for top tiers, because it can be difficult to extend any further after a combo ends. The last attribute that we think makes the top tier is a bit more arbitrary. The word tools can be used to describe any move that that serves a specific purpose. And many top tier characters either have finally tuned tools for a variety of specific purposes or some universal tools. The latter are moves that excel in many situations and can be used with much versatility, allowing a character to rely on one attack to get many jobs done. You'll find the combination of many, even sometimes, all of these aspects in every top-tier character in Smash. Additionally, top-tier characters will almost never have any large weaknesses, usually remaining above average at even their weaker aspects. What do you think makes a character top-tier? Let us know in the comments and make sure to subscribe to Pro Guides and turn on notifications to keep up with top-tier content.